Hi everyone, I'm Valeria Bottalico, Head of Education and Accessibility at TBA21 Academy Social Space in Venice, Italy. It is with my great pleasure that I welcome you to this course on ocean literacy organized by UNESCO that I thank for involving us together with other organizations that deal with these issues so urgent and important for all of us. For nine years now, TBA21 Academy has dedicated its work to fostering a deeper understanding of and relationship to the ocean through the lens of art to inspire care and action for the ocean. The ocean is our biggest and best ally in the struggle against the climate crisis that we are all facing together. The Academy brings together artist-led multidisciplinary teams that catalyze unconventional new perspectives and solutions addressing the dangers facing the ocean and a few years ago we found a home for all of this work to be presented to the public in the newly restored church of San Lorenzo. Last year we were finally able to open the doors of Ocean Space in Venice which we see as a laboratory for the future, a future of where everyone cares for the ocean. But how? TBA21 Academy filled ocean space with a fantastic exhibition by John Jonas, Moving on the Land II, an American artist pioneer of video and performance art. On August 27, Ocean Space opened its second season with the exhibition Territorial Agency Oceans in Transformation, by territorial agency and independent organization funded by architects Anne Sophie Ronsgog and John Palmisino. Why in Venice? Because Venice is a city built on water and represents a, the symbol of climate change, sea rise, and the most urgent contemporary issues. But to be able to care, it is absolutely fundamental that everybody has access to the artistic content and the scientific knowledge created without excluding anyone because we all need to be involved in safeguarding the planet and everyone must have the information and tools to access it. So TBA21 Academy with Ocean Space wants to contribute to this immense task by proposing itself as an res educational resource for everyone, from the school community to families, adolescents, adults, st students, people with disabilities and professionals. The Education Department of Ocean Space offers courses, first for teachers and students of all levels in citizen science and sustainability, oceanographic issues, culture and contemporary art, starting from the shared use of a glossary defined and understood by all. Among the topics addressed are pedagogy of environment, human sciences, citizen science and the role of contemporary art in the scientific debate. But together with teacher training, what creates the biggest impact is the direct training of the youngest. How? Through practices of environment activism with the peer-to-peer -peer method. Young people talking to other young people, involving youngest from neo-environmentalist association. By providing them with tools and practices educating them about technology and digital scientific communication. For example, how to create many animated videos and documentaries, but above all, by producing toolkits that also relate to the multisensory sphere and in particular on ocean sound and the submergent sound landscape, with the scientific support of marine biologists who, thanks to audiophones, have collected data and sounds and the voice of the ocean ocean color to discover the thousand shades of the ocean according to the ecosystems and geographical areas of the planet, and ocean shapes the forms that the ocean has assumed and assumes. This project, together with the last one we are preparing together with the deaf community and sign language, is a testament to our dedication to contribute to this immense task of safeguarding and knowledge of the ocean, involving everyone to give a voice to the ocean and make sure it is heard. Thank you.